What is up guys? It is your boy Winster and I am back at it again with another video. Today we are talking about the newly released September 15th Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list. I'm really excited to talk about the ban list. Before we jump into today's video guys, please consider subscribing and if you haven't done so, hopefully this video does convince you of subscribing and for those who are, I thank you so much for your support. And I hope that you have turned on the notification bell, right? Because you guys are staying up to date with all the content. I know you guys are. And if you guys want to watch any of my other content live, be sure to check out the description box. It's going to have my Twitter, TikTok, Twitch. That's where I actually recorded this video live. If you guys are seeing the comments above my head right now, they're probably saying some ridiculous ass shit because those are the homies they be pulling up. And you could also be part of the chat. I remember... When I first saw the ban list, right, it was like, I think like 7.30 PST time. I had just woken up because I needed to use the bathroom. And uh, the first thing I see, like, ban list drops like an hour ago. And I'm like, what the fuck? So, of course, my content creator has had to jump to my phone, had to make a TikTok. That way, I could be ahead of the curve. Um, so, when I was talking, I was like half fucking asleep and I fucked up with what I said. But... So we're gonna go ahead and go into detail here. Let's go ahead and talk about the Unlimited. There has been a huge change and um, I'm glad to see that the strategy, right, uh, has finally got this card back. The card, the deck has been getting a lot of support and this is a perfect example of Konami, you know, supporting what they're trying to push. And of course, Konami being Konami, they wanna make as much money as they can, but I do think it's great that the strategy got this card back. Um, hopefully, I'm excited and hoping uh, that the strategy does well in the format. I do think it's a very strong strategy. Uh, they have a lot of great support cards that recently came out. They have a Ghost Rare. A lot of support, a lot of love, and newly released from the ban list. And um, hopefully, it doesn't get too crazy. You know, this card get hit again. Uh, Herald of Orange Light. Um, I mean, tier limits were abusing this card, of course, because, you know, tier limits are OD. They're super strong, even in the current format. There's going to be naysayers, but uh, tier limits were using the Herald of Orange Light and also <laughs> the uh, Drytron card. Uh, the Drytron strategy was using the card. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't fall back to those same ways and just get abused. But it was an even more impactful hit when Eva got hit. And they really abused that card and it gave him the recur the recursion effect to add the orange of Herald Light back to hand and then just have negates from there. Um, so I don't think Herald of Orange Light is going to be too crazy, but I do think that it could be impactful. Um, only time to tell what's going to end up happening. But there are no semi-limited cards in this ban list, but two really, really impactful hits. Uh, Bestial, Magnemut, and Chaos Space. Now these are two direct hits to Dragon Link. Dragon Link have been a very strong strategy as of late, and Chaos Space is probably one of the strongest cards in that actual strategy. Uh, being able to search impactful cards like Living in Air, you could search cards like Chaos Emperor Dragon, you could search Black Dragon, White Dragon, uh, you could send for cost, Absa Router. There are just so much advantages this card gets, and then on top of that, you could draw cards when it's in the graveyard. Uh, I could definitely understand why they hit this, because Dragon Link was... Even though it got hit so many times before and Dragon Link always just evolves because there's so much, you know, chaos support and there's so much dragon support. Um, this hit is a big one, but I, it's not going to hit the deck in any way where it's going to become unplayable. Um, but this is a very impactful hit. It's going to really stop a lot of their searching uh, on first turns. They have to commit a little bit more on, with their resources. Chaos Space is... Uh, perfect hit, I think. Maybe a little harsh in my opinion, but I'm trying my hardest not to be biased here. Bestial Magnuma, Um, I kind of agree with this hit. Uh, Bestial Magnuma definitely the best card out of the Bestials. Um, and I think a lot of people were anticipating this. Uh, Bestial Magnuma is just any dragon in your deck, right? Excluding itself. On top of that, it could also play around very impactful cards in the current meta like Droll. Obviously, Droll doesn't let you search from the deck. You could add a dragon back from your actual graveyard and still play around the draw. It's really going to slow down Dragon Link. Um, but in reality, Magnuma being at one is not super crazy because you can still search it off with Lubellion. Lubellion is just three copies of any other Bissio that you need. Um, but it is going to slow it down in the recursion. So it's not going to be able to have always plus um, as easy as it does currently with being at three. Hopefully it doesn't get any more uh, it butchered any more than it already has. The only card on the forbidden list is going to be Cashier or Rice Heart. 
Now, I do see a lot of reasons why this card should have been banned. It's a walking floodgate, super easy to get out. Uh, the strategy is super consistent, and it's super easy for them just to end on this board and literally pass, right, and have, like, a couple hand traps. Um, this really stops a lot of, like, other decks. It stops, like, Pearly. It stops literally anything that needs the graveyard. It's it, it just a lot to work with. And with it being banned, it's going to allow a lot of other strategies to really flourish. I do think that banning this card was the right step in the right direction. Getting rid of like really problematic floodgates like this is just really, really good for the format. Now, it does suck that Kashira is losing an integral piece of their strategy, but it doesn't mean that the deck is unplayable. I have definitely, you know, Dimension Barrier, Kashira, and called Exceed, and they were still able to OTK me. Um, so, I do think that they're still quite capable of a strategy. Uh, and I'm I'm honestly shocked that this is the only Kashira they got hit. A lot of people were anticipating, like, Fenrir getting hit. Uh, a lot of people were anticipating Lubellion. So, to bring it full circle, guys, my final thoughts on the ban list... In some aspects, it was very underwhelming. I definitely think there should have been some hit on some cards. Again, these are my opinions. But overall, I think it was okay at best with the banning cashier. A Rice Heart, very, very powerful card and a very, very powerful deck. Definitely was the right call. But I think that's really it. Um, I think a lot of people anticipated more. But again, that's Konami for you. Um, they hit and they miss, right? With some recent ban lists, they did, they've did. they been doing a really good job. But with this most recent one, I definitely think it's a dud. But I wanted to get your guys' feedback. Let me know what you guys think of the ban list down below. Let me know. Let me know. But that is going to be it for today's video, guys. I really, really appreciate you guys' support. That is going to be all. My name is Winster, and you guys have a good rest of your day. Peace out.